Hey guys, it's Kettle Death. We're back with another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles. Yay, yay, hooray, happy day. In the last episode, we got to Tefer Cave slash Magmel Ruins, picked up some quests, completed some quests, which you will see in the previous episode. We got some new equipment, and in this episode, we're going to head to the Bion the Bionis Knee. So here's the escape pod bay. That's interesting. Um, and you have a quest. Uh, oh, that's not a sir, that's a girl. Will you listen to what I have to say? The Defense Force's mission is never ending. Gathering supplies for Colony 9 is an important job, but we just can't get a hold of the things we need. Can you help us get the kneecap rocks we need to make repairs? Yes, we can. Collect two kneecap rocks. Great, thanks for this. I've got other stuff for you when you have time. Okay. Good. Collection Quest 1. Oh, we've already got that. Huh. <laughs> that wasn't hard. I know it's a bit of a cheek, but I need your help again. I want two bright figs. They're so good, just thinking of them is making my mouth water. But, er, uh, they're not for me. They're to give to some poor kids. Won't you help me out? Yeah, they're for you. Okay, two bright figs. Thank you so much. I'll be waiting. I've got other stuff for you when you have time. Okay. Well, we've already got a bunch of these items from exploring Taffer Cave, so... Let's talk to this girl again. I need help with something else. We need three broken pincers to repair the anti-air batteries. You think you can help us out again? Yes, I can. I, do I have this already? I've got other stuff. Blah, blah, blah. I uh -huh. guess we don't. I only need one more thing. One lot of brog smelling salts. Can you bring it for me? A lot of people were injured when Colony 9 was attacked. We need to stockpile as much medicine as we can. Will you help us out? I don't mind, lady. Really? Thank you. I can't believe you're helping me with all this. I'll be here getting on with my mission. Hope I succeed. Okay, then. Well, it's already two minutes of the episode. So, looks like we're gonna have a cutscene. Time to shut the hell up again. An ether lamp. It's a light. Don't traders use these things as guideposts? Yeah. We can follow them to the Bionis Knee. Okay. But if armed traders need guideposts, it must be pretty dangerous in here. Let's keep our wits about us. Definitely. Sounds like fun. Alright, so I like cutscenes like that that are nice, short, and sweet. Okay, let's get on with fighting, shall we? Okay, we've got a clear almond. Ooh, that doesn't sound very tasty at all. I like nuts in my mouth, but I don't know about a clear almond. Ooh, this is beautiful. Tefra Cavern. Hmm. Oh, I see a hot to hot. I'm not gonna mess with it yet. What is this up here? Oh. What the hell? Find ether deposits and harvest crystals. Harvest very pure ether crystals from ether deposits. When you have exhausted the supply, try returning later. Okay, we're gonna harvest it. Okay, they're just gonna keep harvesting. Oh, we get... We get experience and shit for that. Are you kidding? Okay, that's awesome. Oh, there's a there's a bunch of monsters down there. I'm temp so tempted to jump down. Um Let's see. Wait. Oh, oops. Oh shit, I fell. And I just saw a big monster. Let's see. Yes. Noble Brog as my stomach growls. Okay, we're gonna fight him then. Oh, it's something that special. I thought it was gonna be a, a special Brog. Okay. Might as well, right? Okay. I want to discover this landmark, anyways. Okay. Man, what a Treasure chest. You're a bunch of jokers. Okay. One of these might be what we need, and there's a hot to hot down here, like I was saying. Let's see if we can do it. Okay. Okay, please. Nope! I'm not even gonna bother checking because it's gonna waste everyone's time. So we're gonna head back up to where we were just at. We can't harvest that right now. Damn. 
Dun. Or do we need to go down there? Actually, we may have to. We'll see. We shall see, shall see, shall see. Um. Oh, this is confusing. Wait, didn't we come through here? I think we did. Yeah, we did. Okay. Haha, <laughs> I'm stupid. Okay, so guess what? Boys and girls, men and women, guys and gals, everything that I missed, turkeys and chicken, we're just gonna jump back down. I think. Oh my god, I'm not gonna live that. I did. Okay then. Um. We just went back up here. Okay. Oh, this is so confusing. Okay, we didn't go back up there. We go this way. Yeah, these are where the posts are at. Sorry, this is blind. It's not that bad, though. Alright. Gold caterpillar. I like me some gold caterpillars. And it looks like we got some company up here. Oh, we aggroed it. Might as well aggro the rest of these dudes, then. Or just keep running, it's fine. Oh, yes! In your face. <sighs> Ooh! That must be the lake. My stomach. You guys hear that? It's growling. It's hungry. I'm gonna get some food after what this. The? Look at the emblem. They're traders from Colony 6. No wonder it's been so long since the last delivery. Ryan. Hmm. Their injuries. They I don't even see them. No it was probably the monsters that live here. Man, that's grim. I don't want to go like this. Not even killed by Mechon, just some monsters in a cave. They probably had families. Children. Maybe. Take the wallets. Oh, surprise me. But why'd you say that? Oh, no reason. Ryan, shouldn't we return them to the Bionis? Huh? Oh, right. What's born from the Bionis is returned to the Bionis. That's the way of the Homs. Hmm. I bet there's a monster in there. <sighs> that was way harder than I thought it'd be. I'm just about ready to collapse. Let's take a rest. Oh god. If the monsters in here killed all these traders, we need to be at our best. I'm wide awake, so I'll take first watch. Thanks, man. The nap will do me good. Oh, okay. Fine then. Whatever. Is something gonna happen? Come on. I want some action. You guys want action too. I know it. I smell it. Actually, I don't smell it. I'm hungry for action. Look, my turn. Awake already. Didn't sleep a wink. Oh, I still feel like I just did one of Vanguard's drills. <laughs> Hey, why do you think the Mechon attacked? Are we just food to them? Or what? Did we do- What the hell? <laughs> okay, that was random. That reminds me of the battle between the Bionis and the Mechonis. I wonder if it's anything to do with that. Well, it's hard to believe that living things are just a source of energy for machines. There has to be another reason. Mechon killed Fiora. Yeah. You know what? I'll never forgive them. I don't care what their reason is. Hmm. When it happened, the Monado showed me that Fiora was in danger, but I couldn't save her. It's not your fault. Just because the Monado showed you some future, that don't mean you could do anything about it. You did great. You fought them off. I couldn't have done that. You know, I've been thinking about it. Why you can use the Monado, I mean. Dixon told me. You're a survivor mm -hmm. from the Monado expedition team that went out 14 years ago. There was a blizzard or something, and your mum and dad died. And then Dixon found you and brought you back. That sounds right. I was pretty young, so I don't really remember anything. Is that why you do it? Why you're always helping Dixon with his research and trying to figure out the Monado? 
Maybe. Part of me does see it as something to remind me of my mum and dad. But mainly, if it really is the sword that the Bionis used to kill the Mechonis, like in the legend, I want to work out its secret. That's the real reason. I've got it. You were chosen by the Monado. What? Chosen? Don't you see? Not even Dunban can handle it. It ain't chance that you can and he can't. <laughs> I'll take the next watch. You get some rest. Okay, I'll try. Night, Ryan. I like the little fire. It's a cute little fire. Yes, it is. It's so cute. I'm just kidding. I don't talk like that. That would get so annoying. Ooh, another cutscene. Do you wish to change it? Huh? Mm. The future. It is every man's desire to change the future. Is that not so? Even if everything has been predestined, will you not oppose it? I... The Monado mm. is now in your hands. The Monado will grow with you. If you can find the true Monado, the future is yours. The true Monado. Shulk. Uh, Shulk. Uh, Ryan. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, God. Ryan's gonna wake me up. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Shulk. Shulk. Wake up, Shulk. Fucking wake up. Ryan. Oh, yep, yeah, I knew it. Hell yeah, let's go. Okay. Where's that big one? I want to fight the big one. Yeah. I do indeed like that. Okay. Okay. Dude, this is fun. I like I like hordes of enemies like that. <sighs> Please tell me we get to fight a biggin. That'd be amazing. Now it's right time. Let's focus our efforts. I'm on it. Let's see. Okay. I bet we do get to fight the big one. Please, 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 please. I'm sorry, Ryan. Don't worry about it. It looked like you were having a nightmare. Really? The Monado is now in your hands. Mm. The Monado will grow with you. If you can find the true Monado, the future is yours. The true Monado? Mm. Was I dreaming? What's with you? We'd better get a move on. Uh oh. Oh my god! It wasn't a dream. Was it a vision? What should I do? I could tell Ryan. But I don't know. Dude, he's your friend. Tell him. Okay, so we're going to end this episode of Xenoblade Chronicles. 
Um, it's getting really interesting. I'm actually getting really, really into the story now. It's It's been a great game so far, and I can't wait to keep going on with it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. As always, I'm Cuddle of Death, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!